Hello and welcome. Today we will be at the beautiful Nashua High School North for their culinary programs cook-off. In this competition there will be three teams. All teams will cook the same meal and when time is up they will be judged to see which team prepared the best meal. Stay tuned. Red bell pepper, we're not going to use the green juice. Um, the only place you have to be careful is by the stove. They don't get too close to the stove. Working on what was that? Yeah, we're, we're working on it. So in this in this recipe, are you guys all like working as a group to prepare this dish, or are you all preparing your own samples? We're all working as a group to make a nice little meal for, our, our, like, a, to make like a nice presentation for everybody. That's awesome. See, so guys, what's going on? What? Uh, all right, what are we working on today? Working on pork. Okay. Well, I am working on pork. Have you guys been, done this recipe before? Or just So, can you tell us what the name of the dish is going to be? Um, we are going to have a smoky pan seared pork right. with rainbow pepper risotto mm -hmm. and brown butter asparagus with sauteed carrots and summer squash. That sounds awesome. Like, uh, you know how long it's going to take to prepare and such? Um, the risotto should take about 20 minutes. We have peppers roasting off now. Okay. The pork is going to get seared quickly and then it's going to be in the oven for 15-20 minutes and the vegetables will take a couple minutes close to service. Alright, awesome. So, Mr. Leone, as an outside observer in the NTC program, what's it like to observe another intensive course like this? I think it's great. I think it's great to see how, because you I mean you're, I'm so always so used to my own video students, but I think it's great to see, you know, one of the other courses in action and exactly what they can do, how well they work together. And really, even though, you know, these guys are cooking and you guys are doing video, you're still learning the same types of things. You're yeah. still learning teamwork. You're still learning time management. You know, these guys are under a deadline to get something done and, you know, uh, de uh, deliver a product by a certain time. So. Uh, it's great to see those soft skills, you know, that, that the uh, career classes offer and how well all of those students are utilizing them. So that's the, uh, the pork you're starting to cook there, right? Yeah. All right. So um, at what phase do you add the, the spices and the flavorings and stuff? Right at the beginning, but like I had to turn it first. But yeah, right. we're just putting salt, pepper, and rosemary on it. That's great. It's, so it's like a, you know, subtle green pork. Yeah. So. It already smells fantastic. Kayla, can you tell us what kind of ingredients you have in the sauce there? We have, this is chicken stock, uh -huh. Italian rice, yep. mushrooms, and onions for a risotto. That looks, that looks like a meal unto itself right there. Oh, so uh, what's that technique called that you're doing with the onions there? I am sauteing them. All right. It's a nice, happy, crackling sound. For those of you who don't know, this is Miss Bussy of Nashua North. Now, Miss Bussy, what do you think is like the? Uh, what do you think kids take away from this besides being able to cook wicked awesome food? Um, I think they learn life skills and they have an opportunity to cook for their families and obviously go off to school after they they go through this program. I'm very proud of this program at North. It's a shining star in the CTE programs, and it's hard for, to have my office right across the hall because I smell all this food all the time, and it's um, very difficult not to eat everything. So um, with uh, 35 minutes to go, do you think this is uh, on track or yeah. where it's supposed to be? Yeah. So uh, what part of the recipe are you guys working on right there? I'm doing the risotto right here. Right. Awesome. I'm getting the veggies ready before we saute them, so I'm blanching them right now. And just for our viewers who maybe don't know what sauté means, um, what, what is sauté? Blanching, actually, what? is when um, you boil the veggies really quick in boiling hot water for just a couple minutes for them to get color, and then you throw them in ice water just to stop them from cooking. And um, that way when you get actually sauté them, mm -hmm. then um, they cook a little bit more. Just cool. All right. Now, what was that you just stuck into the pork? That would be a meat thermometer. And uh, what temperature should it be at in order for it to, you know, be um, really done? Pork, you cook to about 145, and then it finishes when you take it out. So it's still cooked while it's on the pan. Fantastic. It's smelling better and better every second. Oh, Chef Quimby, with 25 minutes left, where should they be in the recipe? 
Well, so they, I'll take you over to the oven so you can see, but the most important thing they have right now is they have the risotto started and they have the pork tenderloin in the oven. Okay. If they don't have the pork in the oven and they don't have the risotto started, there's no way they're going to make it. All right. And how, so, oh, that's excellent, actually. It, it's, once again, it just, it gets more and more intense, the smell. Would you like to come take a look in the oven? That would be fantastic, actually. Take a look. So you, can see, you can see the pork. It's doing really well. It's and probably what, more than half cooked. What right kind now. of a spice is that on so that one is, there? This is rosemary, and they put a rub on there. A dry That's rub. So, so good. Yeah. It's going to be delicious. I hope you get a taste. I would, I would, I would love it.